Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix this error that is fail to start battle eye service. So if you're receiving this error with the game, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now, the first step is to uninstall and reinstall battle eye. Now for this, make a right click on the game, select manage, click on browse local files. It will take you to the game installation folder. Now open battle eye folder. Here you can see uninstall battle eye option. Make a right click, click on run as administrator. Click on yes to allow. Now, here you can see install battle eye. Make a right click, click on run as administrator. Click on yes to allow. And once this is done, now you can launch the game and then check you should not receive this error anymore, but still you're receiving the error. The next step is to uninstall battle eye. So again, same location here you can see uninstall battle like make a right click and then click on run as administrator click on yes to allow this time do not install battle life from here instead launch the game during the launch it will install battle life so here you can see starting battle life service updating launching the game and you should not receive the error message anymore during the launch it will install the battle line but still you are receiving the error message in that case the next step is to verify the game files to verify the game files make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files once the verification is 100 percent complete launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program or windows security so if you're using windows security you can open windows settings let me close the game for now now go to privacy and security and then click on windows security click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it Click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow. Click on add an allowed app. Click on browse all apps. And then go to the game installation folder. So in my case, this is the installation folder. So wherever the game is installed, select the game exe file. Click on open. Click on add an allowed app, browse all apps. Second, uh, select the second exe file. Click on open. Click on add an allowed app, browse all apps. This time open battle eye. And select this be service underscore x64. Click on open. Now type in control panel in Windows search box and then go to control panel. Click on system and security, Windows Defender Firewall. Click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Click on change settings. Click on allow another app. Click on browse. And then go to the game installation folder. Go to this location. Open the battle life folder. Select this and then click on open. Click on add. In my case, I have already added. Again, click on browse and then go to destiny 2 select this open add again click on browse and select this one open add in my case it is already added so once added now you can launch the game and then check now if you have any third party antivirus like avast not on bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have allow the same exe file to your antivirus program also uh, you can just go to the game installation folder once again browse local files and open battle light and you can just make a right click on this and run as administrator once and now you can launch the game go back also try to launch the game from the game installation folder so make a right click and then you can click on run as administrator and then you can launch the game and then check Next step is to update Windows to the latest version. This is important. So open Windows settings, go to Windows update or update in security, then click on check for update. Once all the updates are installed over here, restart your computer. Restart is a must. Restart your computer once and then you can check. Now the next step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives. So if nothing is working, you can make a right click, select manage, click on uninstall. Now after the uninstall, go to the game installation folder and then delete the game folder restart your computer 
and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to D drive or E drive or any external drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, then try installing the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix this error. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.